Ladies and gentlemen, today is one of the biggest days in gaming history for Call of Duty and for Activision as Microsoft has officially acquired Activision Blizzard. After a grueling 22-month process, it's official. It's finally a thing. Microsoft now owns Activision and now owns Call of Duty and every single studio creating Call of Duty. So in this video, we're going to dive into exactly what's going to change for Call of Duty now that Microsoft officially own COD and how this could potentially not only save Call of Duty, but propel it to even bigger heights with Treyarch's game, the first game to do so. But I'd love to know your thoughts on this all in the comment section, wherever you're team Xbox, team PlayStation, because this is a good thing regardless of what platform you play on. So it's official. Microsoft have bought Activision for the grand total of $69 billion and one of the biggest deals in gaming history. So let's take a look at this graphic that shows what Xbox's first party studio organization looks like. And as you can see on the left, there's Xbox Game Studios and Bethesda, but now on the right, Activision, Blizzard, and King. And if we look in the middle under Call of Duty, they now own Treyarch. They now own Infinity Ward. They now own Sledgehammer. They own the Call of Duty engine. They also own all the other partial Call of Duty support studios like High Moon, Toys for Bob, Phoenix, Raven Software, Demonware, Activision Shanghai, Digital Legends, and others. And that is just Call of Duty. They also own StarCraft, Warcraft, Diablo, Overwatch, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Tony Hawk, Guitar Hero. It is an endless list of games. And starting today, work will begin to bring all of these beloved Activision games to Game Pass and other platforms. And Microsoft will share more about when we can expect to play those in the coming months. Now, earlier in the week, Activision made it clear that Modern Warfare 3 and Diablo 4 won't be coming to Game Pass this year. So for most Call of Duty games, we should expect to start seeing them next year. But what else does this mean for COD? Well, it means that for future Call of Duty games, they will still release on the exact same day on PlayStation, Xbox and PC where they will all have the same console parity so there will be no differences between platforms there will be no exclusive content on any platform i can already hear nature starting to heal with that news what's also crazy is that microsoft will also promise to bring future call of duty games to nintendo platforms which we expect to see starting with nintendo's next console the nintendo switch 2 which is rumored to be about as powerful as a ps4 or xbox one but the last time call of duty was on a nintendo console was on the Wii U back during Call of Duty Ghosts, which was over 10 years ago. Microsoft has also announced that Call of Duty will expand to cloud gaming services. So some of the cloud gaming services you see already for Xbox titles, you'll be able to play Call of Duty on mobile anywhere in the world with a controller with barely any lag. It's going to be pretty crazy. If there was any service that would have Call of Duty on cloud gaming, I would want it to be Microsoft because they've proved that they actually have the technology to make it work. And they also announced that any future Call of Duty game will release on day one on Xbox Game Pass. Meaning, if you have Xbox Game Pass, you won't need to buy Call of Duty in the future. It will just be part of that service, which is absolutely insane. At this moment in time, PlayStation still own the marketing rights for Call of Duty and still have exclusive content on there. But starting next year, that will not be the case anymore. Microsoft could have exclusive content on Xbox, but they are choosing not to. And for at least the next 10 years, Call of Duty on PlayStation will receive the exact same experience that Xbox players will get. Now on the surface, there are a ton of positives to take out of this news. The fact that this is all happening when we have Treyarch's game next year is fantastic because it's a clear sign that now under Microsoft, there is even more budget and scope for Call of Duty to do things even bigger than they already have. There is already a crazy amount of studios that work on Call of Duty under the Activision umbrella, but Microsoft could easily acquire even more studios to help create even more Call of Duty content. Content. But with Microsoft calling the shots, there are a lot of things that could happen very differently for Call of Duty. Like we might not even see a yearly release anymore for Call of Duty, which is both a positive and a negative thing. Because the positive is it gives the studios a lot more time to work on the game so we get a more polished and content heavy game when it releases. But we're so used to yearly releases now, COD's had one every year for the last 20 years. It'd be crazy if that cadence slowed down and stopped completely. With if they're not being something in the works to replace that yearly release. But the one thing that gives me such extreme excitement and hope is that Microsoft are so in tune with the gaming communities at large about exactly what they want from the Microsoft franchises. If we take a look at Halo, for example, Halo is a beloved franchise and clearly Microsoft knew how beloved that franchise was and how itching players were to replay all of those old games in a collection remastered format. And that's exactly
exactly what we got with the Halo Master Chief Collection that remastered all of the original four Halo games and then on PC went ahead and added even more games. Up until now, we've only seen the original Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 get remastered. And both of them just seem to be quite random releases. There was no real structure to them. And with Microsoft's track history of remasters, as well as them knowing what the community wants, this is a fantastic moment where we could expect to see some other beloved Call of Duty games remastered and more than just games singly on their own, but perhaps in a package like the Black Ops franchise in a remastered package would be absolutely incredible. But furthermore, I think this is the perfect opportunity for Microsoft to look at what makes Call of Duty so beloved with its zombies mode and to bring the fans something like a Call of Duty Zombies collection. It's something that we have wanted and dreamed about for so many years, over a decade, and we've all assumed up to this point that it's just not possible, it's not going to happen. But with Microsoft, anything is now possible. And all they have to do is look at the success of Zombies Chronicles 1 on the PlayStation Store, how it was the best selling thing for the entirety of 2017. And look at what they can do to really bring zombies back into the forefront of Call of Duty because it is such a strong part of the game. Imagine if we got a Call of Duty zombie standalone game. That would be absolutely insane. And again, nothing is off the table now with Microsoft, but I still think zombies is just such a big selling point of a main COD that people buy it just for it. I don't know if they would ever do a standalone alone but i think they need to do some more remasters there is no way and with microsoft now owning all of these studios there is absolutely going to be more budget put into these call of duty games going forward which is only a positive thing for us as the gamer but there are a few interesting questions that we can take from this acquisition about call of duty going forward such as the fact that it is now going to be coming to nintendo platforms going forward now up until now we've always had the main developers creating the game for playstation xbox and pc if they're trying to create a version for Nintendo, that is literally in the wording a different version of the game because it would not be able to run anywhere near the way that it does on Xbox, PlayStation and PC. So there's going to have to be a completely separate studio brought on board to port the games over to Nintendo consoles like we saw in the past with Black Ops on the Nintendo Wii and the DS. And as you can remember, they were very different versions of those games. And I just really hope with the fact that the games now have to be on Nintendo as well, that we don't see these games dumbed down a little bit for the technology so that it runs on the Nintendo platforms because up until now I still would argue we've not seen a fully next-gen Call of Duty game that takes over the power of the PS5 and Xbox Series X because the games are still made for PS4 and Xbox One. The day that we finally get a truly next-gen COD is one that I'm really excited for because that's really going to push the limits of Call of Duty but if it's going to be on Nintendo then I don't know if that's a possible thing. Well does it mean in the future that we might see a Zombies Chronicles 2 where we might even see a full Call of Duty Zombies remaster game that would be absolutely insane let me know what you hope to see Microsoft do with Call of Duty down below in the comment section but if this news has got you excited and you're hyped like the video subscribe for more news on this and you can see a video on the first Call of Duty 2024 zombies leaks including two round based zombies maps and the return of a fan favorite wonder weapon you're gonna want to click that video right now